fluffy store where I'm still questioning my life choices of a... Uh, no, no, just still questioning my life choices while doing this. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah. All right. Thank you for staying behind to look after the store. We'll go upstairs to have breakfast before coming back uh, to have someone take over Pern's place. Okay, so yeah. Uh, that's how a lot of jobs work. Puff and Cherry, follow me to the kitchen on the second floor. Just wait till we get to the third floor! <laughs> I turn off the electric rice co cooker, full bowl of bowls of porridge, and put them on the table. The three of the the three of us sit around the table. Don't worry, it just opened. It's gonna take a little bit for people to kind of get in, anyways, because reasons. Well, it'd take like a, a little while for people to come in because it's something new. Don't worry, we just started our business. A lot of people still don't know our store has opened it for business. There's, uh, there should be more people later on. In fact, I'm not so confident I can make it. But as the manager of the store, it's my job to keep my employees' spirits up. Okay, at least I know that they're eating. I still haven't decided on a job for Puff. Cherry, any ideas? And if it's selling guns, I'm okay with that. <laughs> My first answer is can I get a 9 mil with hollow points and a shotgun with buckshot? Sherry puts her bowl aside and thinks for a while. Actually, that... No, that's not a bad idea. A good idea, but this job is tiring as she is moving the goods from the storage area and puts them on the shelves. Okay, we kind of saw it's like like a two episodes ago when you lift up uh, when you lifted up boxes. What's it? Could have been like two or three episodes ago, not including this one. You are quite strong indeed. Shit, that means hit punches from her are gonna be a pain in the ass. Hey, <laughs> sucker! I have speed. I can still, uh, uh, I can still over, no, overwhelm you. I was gonna say overpower, but overwhelm. I remember last time when she lifted a stack of boxes with just one hand. This morning. Eh. <laughs> Yeah, because I bet you just like made a freaking figure eight against it uh, around everything in the store. <laughs> Sherry, you're familiar with how the items are displayed. <sighs> yeah, just wait till you get to like a bigger store. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> I will go with you later. And address your company. It's... Well, I know that you two are happy about it. Good. <laughs> Hurry up with your porridge. Porn is still downstairs. Sherry, you can. You also need to change your uniform. 
Once we finished with our breakfast, settle everything in the re return and return to the store. Burn is smiling and si setting the payment with the customer. Dang it, now I have to do a different voice. <laughs> Pardon me for asking. Are those ears on your head some kind of decoration? She deserves a head pet! Dang damn it! <laughs> She's too innocent! Burn twitches her ears with her hands. Twitches ears with her hands. Then her face is flushed with embarrassment and becomes speechless for a while. Uh, this is a special feature in our shop. Looks are other assessments at the store also have have such ears. Hurry over to I hurry over to Purin and point at Puffs and Cherry's ears beyond me behind me. Ooh. It's true. It's so cute. May I take a potato? Uh, photo. Oh, why did I say potato? Photo. <laughs> damn it! You're so innocent. I can't loot you. Damn it! <laughs> Sherry goes over with a bright smile. Fantastic! Yes, I'm just gonna use the those two generic voices, like a couple of generic voices for the male and female customers. Upon seeing Cherry, take the investigate to get over to her. With customer holds up her cell phone and takes a photo of Cherry and herself happily. <laughs> Good. You are doing good, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. I will come here often. While Cherry and the customer are taking photos, Pern quickly helps the customer pack her pr purchased goods. <laughs> Well, now we know you're doing really good. <laughs> the customer leaves the shop with a satisfied expression and turns around and waves at us from the time to time. Well, well done, Cherry. Full marks from the, for you this time. <laughs> Well, you did save Pern's ass. We did save Pern's ass. That's that's one thing. I need to increase the volume on these characters. Take it easy. The customer is just curious. She she has no bad intentions. It looks like it. Sounds like a nice feature. We can say it. it's uh, this way. Is future. Is the future. Well, at least it makes you three a heck of a lot more presentable than, and not looking like creeps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many uh, items were sold just now? I feel a bit jumpy. <laughs> Do 
You can? No need, I just go upstairs and eat your breakfast por porridge is on the table. Sherry Puff and I are standing beside the checkout counter. Curiously, there isn't a single customer inside the store. Uh, it's a good thing you're actually bringing that up. Yeah, since there are no customers right now, let's quickly take the opportunity to walk around. Oh, walk one round. Leave Boss and Puff. Follow me, please. Okay. Sherry is very familiar with this place. She showed every shelf to Puff with amazing preferency. I know I got that word wrong, but who cares? <laughs> Why are you selling cups and mugs? I can see this girl is indeed very knowledgeable on where the goods are displayed. Which ex ex excites my exceeds my expectations. I ordinarily thought she was only a boastful and quick-witted imp. Oh, well, by what I can tell, foxes so far, by what I found out, can be cl can be uh, clever on how they would like to put their words. I'm please say no, please say no, please say no, damn it. Anyway, ten store isn't big. What kind of word is that? I, I don't even know what T N was like a thing right there. E, e is story. I don't even know what that is. I don't see that. I'm not an English major. <laughs> Either way, I think should be okay. Even if the goods are put in the wrong place, we should. We still have Sherry. I can kind of see why. And if you're innocent enough, I will give you head pats. Sure, on the other hand, I know you're quick witted. But, I'm not giving you head pats. Pern deserves those. <laughs> and I'm going to move my uh, cursor up. There we go. Okay, Puff. Let's go and see the warehouse. <laughs> Which is strangely connected to the company. <laughs> In fact, the warehouse is only a storage room. A storage area. That is slightly bigger than the normal ones. Where I own... Where I only only goods. The disturbingly will stop their tracks outside the back door of the warehouse. This is the passage uh, for moving goods. Can't be left here. I shall puff around for, to familiarize her with all the good with the goods that kept in the warehouse. Guns, guns! There's a chain sign. Another gun. You need to check the labels on the items for rep for replenish on the shelves, and the response to Cherry's feedback on the shelves can't be empty at any time. If the goods are out of stock, you need to tell me early, and I'll order them as soon as possible. Puff keeps nodding. <laughs> Looks at me like, YES! I KNOW! PLEASE TELL ME MORE ABOUT THESE BOXES! <laughs> While consistently shaking her head. <laughs> that, 
would actually be, that could easily go into freaking comedic anime or manga or comic. <laughs> Uh, that's more or less about it. It's a bit maiden, maiden, maiden. Yes. Either way, I'm gonna end the episode here, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful time. And I'll see all you guys next time. And I hope all of you have a great, wonderful day too. <laughs>